Hey, hey, what's going on, How's man? How's it going? How are you? I am fantastic. I'm Jonathan. Uh, I'm Camden. Awesome, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You excited? I'm blasted. All right, let's, let's get out of here. Right. Now that we finally made it here, can you tell us um, a bit about the wildlife ambulance? Yeah, love to. Um, you know, we're very excited about our marine wildlife ambulances. Uh, it's a temperature controlled vehicle uh, that's going to assist us in our rescue efforts. It's going to help us transport any marine life that is in need um, from the rescue site back to the Yass Sea World Research and Rescue Center. So how many team members are part of the rescue team? Well, we've got 10 uh, full-time colleagues that are responsible for the day-to-day the -day care of animals, uh, as well as to responding to any rescue calls we may get throughout our time. Yeah. We are fortunate to have several vehicles, right? So we have two marine wildlife ambulances, uh, but we also have uh, three pickup trucks. Uh, and those pickup trucks, while they are useful for towing some of our, our watercraft, uh, they're also useful for getting to places very quickly. Yeah. You know, again, I, if I'm gonna rescue a bird, I don't need to take our large uh, ambulance, I could take the smaller one. Um, or if we're going to rescue even a small dugong, a dugong calf, we can take the, the pickup trucks, get there quicker. Right. Uh, you know, rescue and rehabilitation is all about uh, response time, getting animals quickly, and then getting them back to the Yassi World Research and Rescue Center um, and get them stabilized. Yeah, that's, that's the goal. So the rescue ambulance, I'm guessing it can carry like 1,600 kgs or something? I mean, even more than that. Wow. Uh, so our lift gate alone um, carries 1,500 kilograms. Wow. But the vehicle itself um, is about 6,500 kilograms. Jeez. So it, it's tough to think about an animal that we would be rescuing that is even that large. Yeah. Um, so seriously. to kind of give you an idea, dugongs, an adult, healthy, large dugong weighs about anywhere 400 to 450 yeah. kilograms. Okay. So say we needed to rescue two large dugongs at a time, we could do that. We could have the people uh, in the rear to go ahead and monitor how they're doing yeah. and have any equipment we needed and still be well under that 6,500 kgs. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. It's, it, it, it's pretty impressive. It's well equipped. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's say you're out there um, going to rescue an animal. What kind of uh, equipment would you carry? Well, as far as equipment, we want to have equipment that is going to make sure that uh, both the animal is safe and that the rescue team is safe. So um, if we do need to secure, say, say a bird that um, is entangled in something, we'll still take a small net to secure it, and we'll also be wearing gloves. Now, if we were rescuing something larger, uh, say like a dugong or a, a small dolphin, uh, we would have a stretcher. And what that does is we will place the animal in the stretcher um, and then that allows us to secure it. And it's much easier to handle an animal uh, that we've placed into a specially designed stretcher than to try and just use our, our hands. Right. right? Yeah. Uh, and then uh, we will bring our veterinarians along generally and they will bring yeah. along a lot of their medical equipment. Yeah. Uh, so that could be anything as simple as a stethoscope um, or as involved as materials so that we can give the animals fluid. Um, our biggest concern when we are responding with the Marine Wildlife Ambulance is getting the animal back safely, uh, but also being able to monitor what's going on throughout that travel. So if the veterinarians determine that this animal needs a little bit of extra help before getting back to the Yass Sea World uh, Research and Rescue Center, well, we can do that. Uh, yeah. So we can take a blood sample, and then we can run that through a machine and get some very simple baseline values. Uh, so something that may say that this animal is severely dehydrated. Uh, and the time that it takes to get back to the park may be too long. Uh, so that's going to help us respond and we can administer those fluids uh, right in the, in the truck that's great. as we're moving. Yeah. So what's the procedure from getting a call to um, getting out there and rescuing the animal? Sure. So, um, we can receive calls in, in one of two ways. Uh, so the first being people can contact the Environment Agency of Abu Dhabi, EAD, uh, directly. 
Um, and then the EAD kind of decides which facility is best suited to respond to that animal. Um, and so if the EAD does determine that we are that best, the best facility, mm -hmm. they'll give us a call, give us all the information. Um, and then from that information, we will form a, a rescue plan. And then we go ahead and, and make the actual rescue. So that's all it's needed to get out there and rescue the animal. Yeah, you know, one thing that I try to tell everyone um, when they're kind of gathering information is if they can to send a picture. Um, because that tells us so much information. It tells us roughly about how large the animal is, yeah. where the animal is. Um, people can't always stay there with the animal, right? Yeah, so we get the descriptions call. could be off based on like their limited knowledge. You know? yeah, yeah, you know, sometimes we ask people, hey, you know, how, how big of an animal is that? And they're like, ah, it's not very big. And you get there and it's, uh, you know, 200 kg. Yeah. And so it, it's all relative, right? Um, so when we get those pictures sent to us, then that gives us a good idea of, all right, here's, what, here's the plan we need to do, and then kind of proceed from there. All right. So if you need to get to an animal quickly, how, how quickly can you get to it? Um, you know, honestly, our goal is as, as quick as possible. So that'll depend on distance, right? You know, how close is that animal? But um, we are able to respond and get that process going very quickly. So we generally try to keep some equipment in the trucks at all time and in the uh, wild marine wildlife ambulances. Uh, we also have go bags. So we've got certain bags that are set aside for individual animals. So we know it's a dugong, great. Grab the dugong go bag. It already has everything we're, we're gonna need. So it's all about preparation. It's all about preparation. Uh, <laughs> and we, so if we have everything set, we've got the team ready to go, we can respond in a matter of minutes. Wow.